hi and welcome to my channel so you've likely clicked on this video because you are out of the uk considering moving to this country or you're already in the uk considering switching or looking for better opportunities here so yes this is the only video that you need to be able to watch in order for you to achieve that so if you're new to my channel you're welcome if you haven't joined this family hit the subscribe button below because you want to be the first person that is notified when I drop a new video on here every single day. I'm very excited about this video because I'm going to be sharing with you three of the top, the best pathways for you to use at the moment if you're somebody who needs visa sponsorship in the UK. This is something that I get asked very frequently. Melvis, what is the best way that has those guarantees and that is going to give me the best start in the UK and the best opportunities in terms of career progression? That is exactly what I'm going to be sharing with you in this video today. But let me tell you one thing, by the way. If you need to contact me to talk about your specific circumstances, that's absolutely fine. If you check the comment section below you're going to see my contact details that is my whatsapp number as well as my email address so they can contact me at your earliest convenience you're also going to see a link to join my free newsletter you drop your name and email address and i send that information about jobs opportunities career progression apprenticeships which is where you get paid to work and study at the same time in the uk so that you're not missing out on information because i'm all about the fact that we have come to this country as immigrants in order to maximize the opportunities so we can work less, earn a lot of money and retire early. That is a goal because as somebody myself that I started my own UK journey 13 years ago as a carer in a nursing home to now working in the most senior clinical nursing job, I tell you that this journey is worthwhile. Sometimes you're going to sit there and think, is it really worth all the stress and hassle? I tell you, it is worth it. So before we even get into the nitty gritty, drop a comment in the comment section below and say, Melvis, it is worth it because there is power in the word. I always say this. So the three pathways that I'm going to share with you, why on earth have I chosen these three pathways? But evidence itself shows that these are the top three pathways for anybody who wants to move to the UK or indeed really have the best opportunities in this country or that guarantee to definitely move. I like the first option, because it gives you the highest chances in terms of opportunities. That's why I like option number one. Option number two, I like it because it is the most guaranteed of all three, which means if you want to use option number two, you will have the highest guarantee that you will definitely 100% be in the UK when you want to be in the UK. That's something that is massive. Then option number three, I like it because it's for the smartest people in the room. Guess what? Oh, this option number three incorporates the elements from option number one and option number two. So it is for the smartest people in the room. And so I want to drop a comment in the comment section with the word smart, because if you're watching my videos, you better be one of the smartest people. And just hearing also about these three pathways, which one do you think sounds the best for you? We're just hearing the highlights that I've said, which do you think is the best? Because now I'm going to break into the nitty gritty of each of these options. So what is option number one? Oh my God. And by the way, during our live session that is coming up tomorrow, we are going to be dissecting each of these opportunities, looking at how you can actually apply for these opportunities answering your questions about your specific circumstances because guess what we're not all the same we're not all equal we've all got different experiences we're from different countries different backgrounds our needs are different our challenges are different our expectations are different and so we're going to be able to look into that so our live session is going to start from 8 30 p.m uk time you've got to be registered to be able to attend the session so check the comment section below and make sure that you have registered to attend and i tell you it will not be here on youtube because i don't do live sessions on youtube so let's get to option number one so with option number one it is the good old carer jobs i know that you may have heard this and you're like oh my god not again there is a reason why uk universities and in fact the office for national statistics in the uk has shared official data saying that of all the people in the uk that are switching 
from one visa to another, 97% of people are switching to this particular visa. And I'm going to tell you exactly why this is the case. And before I even get into that, I would like you to leave a comment in the comment section below and say Kara Visa. This is one of the best ways for you to start your UK journey. And the reason why it's one of the best is because I'm going to tell you the top reasons why it is the best. The first thing is it's got the highest level of need when it comes to the application process and when it comes to UK employers, they need carers the most. The reason for this is carers are needed in people's own homes. They're needed in residential homes. They're needed in nursing homes. They're needed in schools. You know, they're needed in hospitals compared to any other job. So this is the first reason. Another reason for the candidates why it's such an amazing opportunity is that you don't pay the healthcare surcharge. Guess what? It is very expensive at the moment, if you're not aware. The healthcare surcharge is currently £1,305 that you have to pay. Again, do you think, in fact, do you know about this healthcare surcharge? I would like you to leave a comment in the comment section below and exactly how much is the healthcare surcharge. This is a little test because if you're wanting to move to the UK, you need to understand the associated cost. So how much is the healthcare surcharge and how much should you be paying? Drop that in the comment section below. The second reason is that care jobs are exempted from the higher salary threshold. So that salary threshold is £38,000. Care jobs are exempted, which means... You know, the basic salary of £23,000 is going to get you a carer job. Meanwhile, if you're coming from those other sectors, guess what? You cannot have a job in the UK except you're earning over £38,000. So that's another advantage that this particular one brings. Another advantage is that it only costs just over £200. Yes, the real cost for a carer visa is only £200. That's how much candidates should be paying. But we know that because of other hanky pankies and other sorts of things that go on, people end up spending a lot more. But that's a story for another day. So as you can see, the advantages for the carer visa are endless. Also, it's really easy to come to the UK on this visa without proof of funds. Um, by the way, if you're not aware, you know what I mean? I do have a private career coaching program where I offer one-to-one -one guidance with these opportunities that I'm talking about. If you would like to know more about the program, what is in it for you, what it entails, if you check the description box below or the about section of this channel, you're going to see more information about it. It's not for everybody. It's only for the top 1% of people here that like me are not only able to talk the talk but are willing ready to put in the work that is needed look i'm not somebody that i like to sit here to tell you that these processes are easy it is not easy it takes a lot more time a lot more energy and it's way more stressful than you're ever going to be able to imagine but it is about the result. It is about the outcome. It is about the future. It's about your family. Looking at the fact that when you look down 20 years from now, where do you see yourself? When you look at your kids, do you want them to carry on growing where you are at the moment? If the answer is no, then that should be enough motivation for you to put in the work that is needed to support yourself and your family to get out of that situation. So I'd like to leave a comment in the comment section below and say my family because for many of us, coming to the UK is not about a better life for ourselves, but it's for our family as a whole. And that's why I say, leave a comment in the comment section and say, my family. Let's move to option number two. Option number two is a good old student visa. This is the most expensive way to move to the UK. I mean, legally, <laughs> you know. And also, it is the easiest in terms of the guarantee. If you're out of the UK now, and you want to come to the UK and you've got your money, look, you can say to yourself, I want to be in the UK, you know, within three months. Look, if you've got your money, you will be in the UK, I tell you. But there is the thing that makes a difference is which course are you coming to study? Because if you're coming to study some of these, I call them ginger courses, you know, that everyone studies, it's very, very easy. And in fact, many of these universities are very smart. What they do is, they reduce their tuition fees and then they get loads of agents that go out and say, look, you're going to be guaranteed admission. You need to be very weary if you're seeing 
those offers because anything that is too good now look you're going to struggle later on so those courses that will guarantee you admission let me tell you that tomorrow is going to be a massive struggle to get when you're in the uk to then get to switch to find other opportunities and all of that so be very careful but the good news is that you're going to be guaranteed that admission so i would like you to leave a comment in the comment section below and say guaranteed admission that's the advantage but if you want to study the good courses such as nursing, I mean, if you've watched my previous videos, you know that I'm obsessed with nursing. I'm very biased towards nursing for the right reasons because it gives you the best opportunities. For those of you that are considering other countries, it doesn't have to be the UK. I'm somebody that I only talk about the UK because I've got zero interest in other countries. But I do acknowledge that there are people who are rightfully considering other countries. Nursing will give you amazing opportunities anywhere in the world. So if you're trying to apply for nursing courses, it's not a walk in the park. It takes time, it takes effort, and it is competitive. But it is going to guarantee you sponsorship when you get here. So anything that is very easy from home for you to get into, you you're going to do the work when you get to the UK, where you take time, when you're still back home to put in a lot of effort. When you get here, life is going to be easier. I'm telling you this out of experience because YouTube is a place that makes everything really easy. They're like, hey, just send an email and you're going to get offered a job. I tell you, it does not work. It doesn't work in real life. <laughs> I wish it did because if it did, none of us would even be here watching these videos about visa sponsorship and this. We're watching these videos because it is tough you know this process is challenging you know as it should be because employers want the best candidates for themselves rightfully so so this is option number two again these are the t's and c's that you need to weigh out again what do you think about the student visa path is it something that you're considering but what about option number three? Oh my goodness i told you that option number three was for the smartest people with option number three you're going to incorporate the elements from option one and option two but guess what it is the most competitive with option number three you're going to be tested your patience is gonna be like oh my god melvis when is this happening i'm saying this because i've got experience supporting people to apply for these all these opportunities and i know which one takes the longest option number three needs the highest level of patience but it's gonna give you the best reward this is where you're applying through companies and organizations such as the nhs you're applying for opportunities that will enable you to work and study at the same time there's nothing better than that let's say for example you want to become a social worker you know you apply you work and study so that after three years you become a qualified social worker if it's nursing after three years or two years whatever pathway you're using you become that particular profession when you're just working all you're doing is work if you stop working you have nothing with this pathway you're achieving the two things at the same time so you're studying and your employer is paying your tuition fees that's the best thing <laughs> oh my god i've done two of these and i tell you that they have catapulted my career to the levels that i have been able to achieve but it's taken me a lot of patience let me tell you something with my last apprenticeship that i did which was a master's in advanced clinical practice full-time for three years i was paid a lot of money in fact they were paying me about three times the average uk salary to study and pay my tuition fees as well but it took me over two years to get this opportunity because it is one of those strategic opportunities that just doesn't come in anytime and you kind of have to be ready very competitive it took me that length of time to prepare and get it so proper preparation prevents poor performance when people say that some people are like hey there you go again melvis you started but that's the reality the best opportunities don't just fall off and you're like oh yeah and again, that's where mentorship makes a difference. If you can have that guidance, somebody to say to you, this is what they need. This is how you apply. This is what they're looking for. It significantly increases your chances. And this is why I've made it my mission to support you to get these opportunities. For those of you that are very patient and that are willing to put in the work, you're willing to walk the talk, I'm here to guide you. So leave a comment in the comment section and say apprenticeship because when I did my first apprenticeship, I wasn't visa sponsorship. By the time I did my second apprenticeship, I wasn't. So again, 
at the end of the day, as an employer, you're looking for the best candidate. And like I say, these are the most competitive opportunities in the UK right now, but they're the best. And because the government has poured in so much money into these opportunities, I'm just like, my brothers and sisters, why aren't you applying for these? And you're going to have people now that would write a message to me and say, Melvis, what about the age restriction for this? There is no age restriction. So drop a comment in the comment section, please, and say no age res restriction. Other people are going to write to me and say, Melvis, I'm on visa sponsorship in the UK. Can I apply for this? Yes, you can apply. So drop a comment in the comment section below and say visa sponsorship. This means that if you are on visa sponsorship, you can apply for these opportunities because I'm telling you that I was on visa sponsorship when I did an apprenticeship in the UK. I like to stress on this because procrastination is the reason why many of us always try to find a reason why we should not apply or why we are not the best candidate or why we're not eligible. Why don't you just apply? Just cool down, chill out and apply. I'm going to share this secret with you. If I was applying for jobs that had the requirements that I met, I would not have progressed as quickly as I did. I progressed because I was applying for every job that I didn't have any of the requirements. You know, they would be like, hey, you need to have 10 years experience as a senior nurse. And I would only come with one year of experience. I'll be like, look, I deserve this like anyone else. I would apply, prepare for the interview. And there I was successful. So you need to take risks. You need to take risks. The bigger the risk, obviously, good risks the more you're going to achieve. So which of these three options do you think is going to be the best for you? Drop a comment section below. Is it option one? Is it option two? Or is it option three? I would love to know the option that you prefer that is best for your personal circumstances. And then I'll do a very detailed video about that one option as to the requirements, how you apply, the employers that are recruiting for that opportunity, the best roles and everything. So just drop that option in the comment section below and I'll be able to share that information. Again, I appreciate your time and leave a comment and say, Melville said, watch till the end and check this out.